Hey guys, this is Shuman from ASA Technical. Today I am going to show you how to fix Windows fail to start. A recent hardware or software change might be the cause. Sometimes a Windows computer user may encounter problems like this. Windows fail to start. A recent hardware or software change might be the cause. Or recovery. Your PC needs to be repaired. A required device is not connected or can't be accessed. Error code 0xc000000E. You will need to use the recovery tools on your installation media. If you don't have any installation media, contact your system administrator or PC manufacturer. This can happen because of several reasons. Number 1. The most common caused by connections between the motherboard and the hard drive. If there is not a solid connection between them, then the system won't be able to start and will generate error code 0xc000000E. Number 2. Most of the time, this can happen if the BIOS settings are incorrectly configured. Number 3. When the boot device of a PC that can't be read properly. Number 4. Most often, this error caused by the boot configuration data that become either missing, corrupt, or misconfigured. That error could occur because of power outage, bad boot sector, or this error can occur during manually configuring boot configuration data. However, don't panic about it. This video will definitely help you to solve this problem. Well, let's get started. Alright, to fix the problem, you need to follow some steps. Unplug the AC adapter cable from laptop's electrical outlet. Turn off the computer by pressing and hold down the power button for at least 30 seconds. Next, turn the laptop's button side up. Now remove the main battery. Note, if your laptop's battery is inside the laptop, then find a small pin hole at the bottom side of the laptop and insert a paper clip into the hole and gently place for 10 seconds to eject the battery and drain all residual power from the system. Now open the laptop's access panel to check connections between motherboard and hard drive and confirm that if there is a solid connection between them. Alright, now gently slide the hard drive out of its connector. Now take an eraser and just gently clean the HDD connector cartridges by following me. After that, reattach your HDD and close the access panel. Next, reinstall the main battery. If your laptop's battery is inside the laptop, then reattach the AC adapter cable on your laptop's electrical outlet. After that, just turn on your PC by pressing the power button once and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS with hitting on F2 key on hitting on F2 plus Dell combination for desktop computer. Alright, next go to boot tab and just select your boot drive using up and down arrow key on the keyboard and just move your boot drive upwards of the list using F6 key on the keyboard and F5 key for downwards. If you don't understand, then you can see the instructions on BIOS item specific help. Next you need to find out the setter controller option. Once you found then change the SATA controller mode according to your operating system which you are using IDE or AHCI In this laptop's BIOS has not this kind of feature because this new generation laptop has only static ACI SATA mode Alright, now go to exit menu and select exit saving changes option and then hit enter 
and again hit enter to saving changes and exit from BIOS as you can see. If you are lucky, then this simple method may help you to solve your problem. Yeah, done as you can see. Alright, in order to fix this issue, you should have a Windows installation media. If you don't have a Windows installation media, then here is a certain tutorial for you to create Windows 10 bootable USB flash drive. And one more thing, this second method is for Windows 10 build 1709 and Windows 10 build 1803. And if you have Windows 10 build 1703, Windows 8.1 or Windows 7, then here is a certain tutorial for you, just watch our previous video from here. Alright. Next insert the windows installation media and just restart your laptop and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS with hitting on F2 key or hitting on F2 plus Dell combination for desktop computer. Alright, let's go to boot menu. Now select your inserted windows installation media to boot from that. For key instructions, you can see the instructions on BIOS item specific help. Alright, just press F10 key on the keyboard and then hit enter to saving changes and exit from BIOS as you can see. Alright, then just click on next. And then click on repair your computer. Next click on troubleshoot option. Next click on command prompt. Now type the command dix part and then hit enter. Next type the command list disk and then hit enter. Now you have to identify the disk number which is your boot disk. Here's mine boot disk number is 0. So I just type here cell disk 0 and then hit enter. Next type the command list volt and then hit enter. Then you will see the EFI partition or system partition. Note, the partition size will remain in MV format and it will be a hidden partition. Here's my EFI partition or system partition number is 3. So I just type here cell wall 3 and then hit enter. Before type the next command, note, we suggest picking a drive letter between M and Z. Because earlier drive letters may still get assigned to drives that don't always show up in the file explorer. M to Z are almost never used on most Windows systems. So I just type here assign letter equals to Z colon then hit enter. Now you should see the message Dixpart successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point. You are done as you can see. Alright, next type the command exit. Then hit enter. Next type the command Z colon. Then hit enter. Alright. Next type the command BCD boot space C colon backward slash windows space forward slash S space Z colon space forward slash F space all. Then hit enter. Now you should see the message boot files successfully created. Yeah, done as you can see. Alright, next type the final command exit, then hit enter. That's it. 
Now just turn off your PC and remove the Windows installation media. Just patient for a while and then turn the PC back on. Now let's check if it's working properly or not. Yeah, as you can see Windows 10 build 1709 is now working properly. We hope you will like. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.